Hey everyone, it's Laura with How's It Growing. Happy fall. So to celebrate the first official week of fall, I've partnered with Plow and Hearth. I'm so excited, you guys. Plow and Hearth, they're doing a $500 gift card giveaway to one lucky winner. So to enter to win, you wanna to go to plowhearth.com slash enter to win to read all about the rules and what you have to do. There's only one real requirement. You go there, put in your email address, and that's it. Now, if you wanna take it a step further, there are some ways to do bonus entries, such as following Plow and Hearth on Instagram or following me at How's It Growing NJ on Instagram. So the contest will run for one week and we'll announce the winner in one week from today. So thank you Plow and Hearth for sponsoring this giveaway. I'm super excited and I really wanna show you guys some great options that they have for your fall decorating. Okay, so you can see I'm sitting here by this beautiful hammer copper fire pit. I've wanted to incorporate a fire pit into our uh, patio area for quite a while, but I've really debated. I mean, we've been here for 18 years, and I think at one point we had a chiminea that cracked in the elements, so I knew I didn't want to go that route again. I wanted something a little more sturdy that I can leave out all season. So the hammer copper was a great option this the footprint doesn't take up much space on our patio at all there's plenty of room to walk around and to socialize but my favorite part is when this isn't being used as a fire pit check this out you can use it as a coffee table this lid here goes right on top you can use this lid to actually extinguish the fire and we've used this to put beverages and snacks and things like that on and it's been great during the season so i'm actually going to put up a little clip of that how we had it like set up with um with some drinks and things like that because it was really pretty so i'll show you a little clip of that and earlier today we were out here with the boys uh, making some s'mores so just super fun for the family and multi-purpose which is great because we don't have a lot of space so to be able to use it in as many ways as possible is a huge benefit to us uh okay so Another space saver is this great tool rack and firewood holder. You can see, you know, normally you would need a separate space to hold your wood, a spe separate uh, caddy for your tools. In this case, it's all in one, which is fabulous. So I've got my wood here and it's a four piece system. It's got the poker, it's got a broom, it's got a shovel and it's got a uh, log grabber. So you're all set, all contained, doesn't take up much space at all. And to start all of our fires, I've been using this for years. This is a Plow and Hearth exclusive. It's their fat wood. It works so great. I'll put links to all these things down below. So if you see anything that sparks your interest, you can take a look and uh, see what you can find. But the fat wood is great. We use it inside in our fireplace as well. So just wanted to mention that. Now these, this is super fun for the family. This is another Plow and Hearth exclusive. It's their color cones. It's these little pine cones and they're uh, coated with a special treatment that makes the flames turn blue. It's just really kind of cool in the fire pit. Just really neat for, you know, kind of cool effect. Okay, so another thing that we added, you guys know I love their hooked wool pillows. I had the one with the zinnia pattern in summer and I absolutely loved it. The fact that it's hooked wool and it's indoor outdoor is such a cool feature and something you don't see very often. So I went with the autumn pattern with the leaves and I just love the colors. I think it looks so nice and really gets this whole little area ready for fall. So, so pretty. So if you wanna come over here, I'll show you a couple planters that we have at our back step. So starting with this one here, this is their bushel basket planter. I believe it's called their barrel planter. Like I said, I'm gonna to link to all the products down below. This looks like real wood, but it isn't. It looks like a gathering basket. I kind of wanna pick some apples and put them in there. It's, it's really just a neat design. It's made of a polymer that's gonna last for years to come so seasonally perfect it does have a drainage hole so no worries there and i was actually thinking about how i can incorporate this into our vegetable garden next season maybe fill it with some sunflowers and i just think it will work for all seasons it's a really pretty design so another fun thing here i love to decorate with birds i saw this little raven kind of 
pumpkin prop and thought that it was the cutest thing ever. So I'll probably end up putting this on our front porch for Halloween, but for right now, I just thought it was really pretty and I wanted to show you guys. So just another little accent. You could put that on your hearth if you wanted to, even inside and decorate it, or even carve a jack-o'-lantern and put it on there. A lot of options. I just thought that was super cute. So I will direct your attention up here. This is their colonial wreath. If you guys follow me, you'll know I love colonial style. At Christmas time, I love to use pomanders and things that have the cloves. When I saw one for fall that had the cloves and the orange, I had to have it. I thought it was so pretty. It's so appropriate next to the vegetable garden with the fruits and everything. It's just so warm and inviting. So this is their colonial wreath and I just think it is so pretty. So this is my second planter and again, it's that it's that bushel basket style, and this is the small size. So the one I just showed you was the larger size. This is the small. I just planted it kind of matching colors to kind of try and tie them together. I have one last thing I want to show you, so follow me over here. So this I am very excited about. What vegetable garden isn't complete with a scarecrow? How cute is this? So I shared a little clip of this on Instagram last week and you guys really liked it. I really like it. You messaged me about it asking me, where did you get that? I didn't want to give it away because I knew we were doing this video and I wanted to do the reveal here, but this scarecrow is so cute. In fact, it's so cute. It is literally flying off the shelves, pun intended. So I talked to the folks at Plow and Hearth and they said that this is so popular. It did sell out, but they're working hard to get more in the end of this month. So fingers crossed on that because it is super cute. And it comes in pieces that you just screw together. It's very stable. It has kind of a triple forked stake that you put in the ground. So I'm not worried about it toppling over uh, in the wind or anything like that. And there's a little opening up here where the head actually unscrews and I'm gonna put a little flickering candle in there just to make it kind of extra spooky closer to Halloween. So I love it. I'm excited. Fall is in the air and I'm so excited about this giveaway. So thank you once again to Plow and Hearth for sponsoring this fun fall giveaway. I'm super excited. We will keep you posted and we will announce that winner. So once again, plowhearth.com slash enter to win. Good luck, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me in my fall garden today. Have a great day. more. You have to ask a grown-up for help when you stick it on s'mores. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Because it's going to be hot. This is fun. I like this. Mm -hmm. Do you like it, Leo? Yeah! <laughs> Thank you!